So here on a lovely Thursday um, in North Lingborough at uh, Blue Room Cricket, or Rob Pack Cricket. Um, lovely place I've visited a few times in the past. Um, and yeah, just a lovely, lovely family that runs us. Um, and know what they're doing for sure. Um, and had some absolute belters from this place. So gonna spend today having a look at um, some bat making and um, yeah maybe selecting a new bat for myself or two. Um, Rob's got some four copies of uh, the Shane Watson profile, uh, the old GM one, to uh, sand up so in for a treat. Um, yeah have a look. Proper low density profile. Uh, he did mention that he didn't, wouldn't quite get them as big as this because these are one-off clefts. Um, but yeah, this one picks up beautifully. Not sure in the weight. We can check in the scales. There we go. I don't think the handle's touching anything. Yeah. Two eleven and three quarters. And you might think that's quite heavy, but look at the amount of volume in that. Don't really get bats like that. Not very often. Hands teeth. So yeah, we'll hop on through and uh, check out his finishing. Uh, so the finishing sanding. Currently Rob's trying to select out a piece of wood for me. Um, I'm going to get a ballistic shape done. So he's looking for one that's kind of big enough uh, and yeah. a good weight as well to get a 211 finish bat um, with a good amount of volume to it. If you don't mind, now, if you don't mind, white, white grain. Yeah, I don't care too much about the white grain. You have a touch and a mallet on that one. Yeah. To make them quite, that's 214 and a quarter. 214 and a quarter. So you think, put your mallet on. Wow. Ooh. That sounds really nice. You know what? Doesn't it? Yeah. Julian hey. with us. So. That. that is that is spectacular. Isn't it? Well, yeah. Scott, you know when you say you got that noise and you just know? Yeah. Now that's a bit heavier, that's 215 and a half. Mm -hmm. Obviously that looks lovelier. Mm -hmm. Well it's got a little bit of drying cone going on there. Okay. That'll, that, that'll, that'll sound that'll, it. Yeah, yeah you're going in. to. That'll glue in and come out. Yeah. Again. It's lovely. Yeah. But then, then you go back and hit that one. Well, then you go back and hit that one. It's just got that. I think then that's the one we need to. Springy one. Yeah. That's lovely, isn't it? Yes. Definitely. Three, four, five. There you go. Five greener. I think that's our, our winner. Don't know. He's wrecking the five greener. Mm. Yeah. Quite a mate of that. There we go. I do quite like this one as well. You like that one, do you? Yeah, get, may get something else made out of it though, since it's a flat face. Yeah, but it's also got that sound as well. Mm. Not a big day, not much wood in it. Yeah, but uh, it is 211 at the moment, so. Yeah, don't need a lot of it. Yeah. I can take the handle off it and show you. Yeah, yeah, definitely. We'll go for that. There you go. So yeah, fingers crossed. Yeah, the tripod feels sturdy enough. Um, Is that all right? You okay? Yeah, yeah. So we're. We can move that out of the way. That chair. If you no, no, no. This is uh, good to prop it up a bit. Um, I think the height's about right. Uh, maybe. Are you right? 
Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to go ballistic. Hello. Yeah, ballistic. So, yeah, this one's going to be the Puma ballistic, isn't it? I do it more on this traditional sort of a gel on ballistic. Yeah. See, this is the big thing I like people to do, is I don't use a draw knife or the blade. See, I watch a lot of people, they do this, just this bit, they don't use it all. Oh, yeah, you've got to really slice through. Yeah, oval handle of course, like all. The only proper way to have a handle, that's what I say. Uh, <laughs> everyone to the right? Yeah, everyone to the right. Those go quite nice videos. Yeah. Yeah. Um, See, actually, I can't get me around that really. In some ways, it's like, <laughs> it's, it's how things are. Isn't it? set standards. I guess you need some, otherwise, um, you know, it ends up being a bit sharp and cut, cuts through the twine. Um, I can imagine that, that certain more profiles, they don't have quite a big shoulder, don't they? Mm -hmm. Not very rounded. No, not very rounded. and the fibres there.
Starting in at about 2.14 was it? Yeah. 2.14 and a quarter? Yeah, it was around about 2.14. Yeah. Quarter. I always keep my left in, in a nice sort of room. Mm. the tool that you naturally in September it would have been, October. Yeah. And yeah, no, absolutely no difference from using a bigger edge back. But except that when I ran middled it, it felt middled. <laughs>
the next customer in for? Is, are they in for a custom bat or? No, he just wants a general kit, right? General kit, yeah. Hey, um. Just general kit, yeah. Sounds mm. like a guy who's got a cricket bar on about 20, 25 minutes from here. Alright. And the chap who got in touch with us is um, Kevin Ince. He's He does all the EPP lads. Play for North Ants and Sussex. Alright, okay. Yeah. Actually got a championship championship title medal with Sussex. Oh. In the game. Yeah. Yeah. Must have been a wee while since you've made one. No, I actually like going in, I'll show you. Go on, no. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. Here's a chap, he's a good lad, I'm not hiding another one, you see. Mm -hmm. Can't get another one, he wants him a bit heavier. But, um, <laughs> No, I made a few of them lately, because I don't know if you see, I had a couple of them. Two or three in the showroom. Mm -hmm. Stocks. There you go. Wow, look at that. That's a beautiful profile. So you're making these for, for him? Oh my days, look at that. Sheesh. Grains for days. Train about that time right there. Yeah. That's beautiful. I must forget it's quite small, but that will go nicely. Yeah, so these are for a customer. Yeah. He came in, said, oh, I like the manoeuvring with Joe on it. Mm hmm. Can you make it? And I showed him when I had this all brilliant. Yeah.
getting there, sir. Yeah. It's beautiful. And sometimes when you do the shape and mm. you do the backs, they sometimes get bigger when you're taking wood off. The profile just sort of starts blending starts, in. Too. Yeah, blending in so it looks just gives that better visual appeal. So I have my own way of doing it, whether it's the right way or not, but it seems to seems to have worked all these years. It works for my eyes and how I get to my end result. Mm -hmm. Obviously I know this is a round bat, I'm using anything, a concave plane but that I do use the concave in, but I just it's I just find it nice. Little, yeah. Just nicer for taking wood out whenever you need to. Just little bit. I don't like using pencils, used to at the start, but try and rely on the eyes and pencil marks, but obviously when people are starting out they've got to have a bit of a guide. Yeah, so you draw the profile, but you prefer yeah. to use your eye. Yeah, I, yeah. it's all in your head now. Yeah. One of those things that went, I think, it's a bit like bowling. Yeah. I hit a stage where I knew what I felt I had to do yeah. to bowl the ball in the right place for the level I play that. Mm -hmm. And it clicks. And if something goes wrong, you think, yeah, you know what, the front arm ain't working. Yeah. Whereas before, I have to be told that. But you get that, you get older and... Yeah, you can tell what's going on. Mm. Uh, that's the thing, you're constantly feeling around as well, aren't you? Um, whenever you're shaping as well, just to see if it's even... It's coming out. Yeah. Shall we go down it's a, a bit more? You want it, but I don't think you need to. Yeah, it might be ready for a sample. Yeah, yeah, so that's the thing. That's so I'd rather do this one than the other ones you see. If you get the right clefts are light enough, you can concave in there. But actually, if you get, if we get it balanced right enough in that toe, yeah. you'll be surprised how well. How well it picks up. So. See that? Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. We'll put a pick grip on this when we go in the room, mm -hmm. and then see what you think. We'll put a pick grip on it and mm -hmm. see what you think. Exactly, and when we sand it and stuff as well, you'll be surprised. Mm -hmm. so yeah, yeah. Just under 2.9 and a half. Yeah, so. Pinch around about, say, 2.10 and a half, 11. Yeah. But the pickup will be alright. Yeah. So I see you can pick it up. That's nice, that's just going to give a look before you have. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I do. I'm just going to put this picture on. And then you're going to feel the So, I'll just different shades of light just help me out. That's the only thing I'm having to get adjusted to at the moment, is since my eyes have gone a little bit, mm -hmm. only a little bit, it's just um, change how I look at things. Yeah, of course. Sometimes, that's all it needs. Mm -hmm. Just look up so. 
Both sides, yeah. Yeah, just a little bit more. A little bit more, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. When it stands. When it stands, it'll feel perfect. So what do you want me to do with this one then? Um, take the handle, I guess take the handle down to the your, your usual oval handle shape. And, and we'll see what like. see how that goes, yeah. Come on, we'll see what it feels like. It's quite light, isn't it? Uh, it's yeah. decently light, yeah. So, um, Again, this is a mature piece of wood. Uh -huh. Flatter face, so I feel like a thicker handle might help reduce the twist. Yeah. I think uh, a lot of people were having problems with uh, flatter face bats because actually they had to make the handles quite thin in order to get the size for the weight. So I'm not like you, like you know, my opinion. I'm not big. I'm a big fan of flat faces. No. I tried them like everyone else. Oh. And I found they were just causing too much damage around the Yeah, it's just a lot of stress. It um, is. I'm not a, I'm not and a unless you get right in the middle of the bat with a flat base, it's gonna make the handle and everything else twist and yeah. take a lot of shock. That's the thing, so that's why So yeah, you know what? Makes the batch look a bit bigger, doesn't it? Yeah. But uh, would you rather have a bat that lasts a bit longer and still goes as well? Then it looks a little bit, as I call it, the willy waggler. Yeah. <laughs> Sort of like, yeah, floor in one bit area, small air, small air, yeah, not too small, but that's all about it, yeah, nice straight grain. To plant it, so just a wee touch up, I reckon, um, yeah. and it'll be about 211 finish. We've had 211 and a half, 211 and a half, though. let's just see how it feels. Mm 
I bet there's going to be a couple in it. A few other companies pop up this year, isn't there? Yeah, most of them. new companies, isn't they? There are. Um, like I said, there was one up in my neck of woods. They're all off the grade one willow. Grade one or grade two, yeah. That's all. Um, I looked at some of them and I was like, I wasn't sure if it was even English willow. I must admit, if you look at some, don't you, you think, crikey, what, you know, actually, where are the bats coming from? Yeah. It's like I say, we, I get asked all the time and I just can't. I can't make enough paper now, so I just sort of say, look, I can't do it. Can't do it. Exactly. Can't do it. Right, just need to flatten that a little bit there. Mm -hmm. So this is like standard, like, what pros use. But to be fair, it's a nice profile. We usually sell oh. it in the store. Players in it. Just like a bit of a duck toe. Yep. Just a sort of a sort of a little yeah. bit of concave. Just get the weight down. Yeah, just blend blend this profile in. Who sorry? Let uh, we'll blend it in, yeah. yeah it just It's a nice profile for doing lots of bats. Mm -hmm. Not too much work involved with it. Because I think normally what you want to do is you want to work with the way it's going. Yeah, but occasionally the fibers don't, yeah, the fibers just don't work that way. I like to say that bit of wood you found a lot of hassle with. That does happen quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you have to just go the other way. <laughs> yep. It's a pain, but and also sometimes you, even me, and that's going to get my tools really sharp and sharpen them again in the other coat. Sometimes you just have to say, sometimes I've got to somehow try and just finish this by sanding it. Yeah. Because it's not behaving the way you would expect. Uh, yeah. So yeah, that's what that one's going to do. It's quite a big bat, isn't it? Yeah. I'm not massively fussy and dead weight. Um, no. As long as they're, they're, they pick up pretty well, I can use anything from 2.9 to about 2.12 and a half. Yeah, yeah, um, in there. So, yeah. yeah. So it can be around about, I would say, 2.10 and a half, 10 three quarters. Yeah. Would you want the edges rounded? Yeah, the edges rounded and then just, uh, yeah, that's pretty much perfect. Let's see, see how it turns out. Yeah. I do measure the size of edges, but I'm not obsessed with having the biggest edge possible. Just purely as a measurement. It's really. like young lads are only after sponsorship and all that. You do have a deal and you send them a bat and you think, oh, they got a lovely bat there, and they say, well, the edges aren't big enough. Well, you don't want to be hitting it on your head, do you? Mm -hmm. You want to hit an area in the middle of the bat or on the edge of the bat. Yeah. Exactly. Has it been balanced properly? Has it been pressed properly? Uh, and does it respond well? Um, you know, you get, oh, that's fantastic, yeah. I can imagine what that feels like with a round of binding and a grip as well. That nice thick handle. Because that already fits in quite comfortably. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Let's sand them up and see where we're at. Yeah, that's fine. Right. Well done, chap.